Hey, it's Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and I want to thank you for tuning in. This week, I'm tackling another bone shaker, um, kind of replicating one of the very first customs I did uh, on this channel. Um, this one ended up going to England. So I did this one, uh, I believe, episode three, and then I did another one that was purple uh, fairly recently. But as always, if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the bell for all notifications of upcoming videos. All right, so this was done in multiple parts. I actually started this project, God, I want to say six months ago, maybe. And this is the first time I've actually showed some of the donor cars where I get these wheels. I got a lot of questions. And it's the big time muscle. I had a set of, I don't know, maybe six or, I think it was six cars in a set. And they all had fairly similar wheels. If you remember, I used some of these for the K7 build I just did. But this was a Camaro, and the front and rear wheels are perfect. And again, this is sort of similar to um, the first one of the first videos I did. And I like to keep the interior and all the parts for these cars because they can come in handy someday. So this is actually filmed, uh, like I said, about six months ago. So I had already stripped and um, drilled everything out, which I don't know where the footage went, uh, to be honest with you. So you'll have to bear with me on that. I'm sure some people don't care anyway. So the there's not much to the vehicle to, to strip, so it wasn't that exciting to begin with. Um, as far as the wheels go, it's probably the biggest challenge on a bone shaker. The larger big time muscle wheels require the, um, I use 16 gauge stem wire for floral arrangements and they fit perfect. The issue lies with the channeling of the axle. The Hot Wheels axles are obviously very, I'd say probably half the diameter. So you have to widen the channel. The channel goes to almost like a V at the bottom where the axle would sit so that it has to be hogged out a little bit and then also you have to hog out the interior or whatever rests on the top of the axle in this case it was it is the interior or the chrome piece with the seats the engine stuff like that so um think of it as like an uh, a shell where with two halves so you can see me here i'm doing the grinding for the base itself it makes a lot of a lot of room for fitment. You have to keep kind of you don't want to go too deep because you're going to end up kind of throwing off the rake or the stance of the vehicle. So you can kind of see here I'm marking the actual chrome and uh, I'd say it's in the, in the interior piece, which is all one piece, and that allows you to you can see I'm going to make like a little little U groove on each side, and that'll allow the axle to ride top and bottom with plenty of clearance the front aspect of it um, you have to be a little careful on the bone shakers there's not a lot of not a lot to work with on these the um, you can see right there where the skull is i mean you're just you're coming really close trying to groove the front so you just got to be careful and uh fortunately i was i think i did one where I actually i slipped and i hacked the skull off so you gotta be a little careful uh but you can see right here once it's on there they work good it's a one piece you know you're not it's not like the hot wheels where it's a two you know the axle sits all the way through the wheels and it rides on the outer bearing the other issue lies with these faux brake pad rotors the wheels because of the diameter and not now that they're sitting higher on the with the axle tubes um, these tend to drag and they are way too close for my liking the the front ones definitely rubbed the back ones didn't but um, from a, a purely aesthetic point of view I wanted to grind them down and I'm actually doing this for a friend um, I had met somebody on a, a Facebook local group page and come to find out we're both Hot Wheels guys and he loves bone shakers these guys got more bone shakers than you can shake a bone at and uh i just figured i it was a good opportunity to do this one and kind of do it up for him 
and I had messaged him and said, hey, I'm doing it. What color do you want? He's like, oh, I don't care anything. I'm happy. So uh, um, it, it's, it was kind of a fun project, and you're doing it for somebody local, and it was kind of cool. They have some horrible, horrible casting lines on these bone shakers once you take the paint off. So I sand those down with a sanding stick. Now, I had a vision, which wasn't an LSD-induced uh, vision, but um, it was hard to realize. I've got this K-Colors black chrome that I bought a long time ago. And my idea was I wanted black chrome. And after I was trying to do it without having to do the other, like trying to cheat. I wasn't, it was already chrome. I figured I could spray it. It didn't come out dark enough. So while I painted the body, I primed it white. Um, I decided to go and I'm going to paint everything black. I just wasn't happy with it. So I used, I've been using a Citadel um, Chaos Black for a few things. It's just, it's easier than cleaning out the spray brush. And I painted the wheels and the, um, the base. And then I decided I'm going to paint pearl silver for the color. Well, this stuff is uh, by Createx. You mix it with the 4030 Balancing Clear and then a little 4012 Reducer. Stuff looks awesome. Problem is, it's a little bit whiter than I wanted. I probably... I used a white primer, and I think that was part of it. wasn't a problem because it came out really good. Um, but I was looking for a little darker, and it looked a lot darker in the uh, in the bottle than it actually does on the vehicle. And I'm stuck once again trying to paint a white, essentially a white vehicle because it's so light gray and silver. Um, it's more white than silver. Again, it still looks really cool, but it's very hard to film it and have it really look like what it does in person so um, I painted it silver and then I put some hot rod sparkle over it and clear coated it. it came out really really nice so with the black chrome to get the look I was looking for um, like I said I painted the base the interior and the wheels in the chaos black now I'm just gonna put a, a really heavy 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 clear coat on all this to get a nice shine out of it which the two paints do mix fine, the uh, clear coat and the Chaos Black. Um, I've used the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Createx um, Wicked Black too, or the Seal of Black. It all works fine. And I'm putting another clear coat on the body. Um, so the point of the, to get the black chrome was to put, lay down black, lay down a clear coat, and then I'm going to use the Quicksilver. And if I can mist it on, what it'll do is it'll give it a, there's a fine line with this stuff. You, you go too much, it's definitely very chromey. Um, but there's a medium ground where you get like a black, black, definite black chrome. And it's more black than chrome. So the wheels were a little difficult only because of their, you know, they got a deep dish. So you're trying to get in there and get it all without hosing it down. And you can see I'm going really light from probably six to eight inches away. Just uh, missed it, I guess is the word. And it ended up coming out good. Unfortunately, when you look at the finished product, it looks black and white. <laughs> but um, up close and personal, it definitely looks like black chrome. So I did get the effect I was after. And again, I was trying to keep this a fairly simple build. I didn't want to go crazy. And um, especially after just finishing the K7. And I've got a couple big builds that I'll talk about at the end here um, coming up. So I didn't want to... <sighs> just time is limited, so I can only do so much. So I take my Citadel Mephiston Red, and I'm going to take a, a fancy toothpick and just dot the tail lights, and I will also use it for the eyes of the skull. And the Mephiston Red is a little bit deeper red, and uh, and I know I'm talking a lot. I had somebody on my last video tell me I was super boring um, and annoying because I talk too much, and that I make it sound like a job and I apologize if that's the case um, a lot of times I record these at night or first thing in the morning so I am kind of tired um, so if my enthusiasm isn't coming through I apologize um, obviously I love what I do and I want to share that with everybody um, because I do have people that actually this morning I had somebody message me telling me that they're now customizing Hot Wheels because of videos my videos and uh, it really makes you feel good that you 
can help somebody get into something that you enjoy as well. So I, I appreciate um, everybody who comments and <coughs> excuse me that that they take the time to message me and say that hey they're now into this because because of me or because of Austin or whatever. Patreon members, Chris Smith, Joey Williams, Christian Stanley, and Jim Silva, Alvarez's Diecast Customs, Stephen Mance, and William Robinson. Check them out in the links down below for those that have YouTube pages and Facebook pages. And I got a couple last night, but it was after I'd already did up that fancy graphic, so I will add them for the next video. All is left is assembly. Again, um, I apologize. It's going to look black and white. I even took it outside for part of this <laughs> to make it look a little bit better. Um, in person, this thing is freaking actually came out exactly what I wanted. The only thing I might have changed is maybe gotten a little bit darker gray. But other than that, I kind of dig this. And I'm not a big fan of the blacked out wheels, but with the black chrome, this looks freaking perfect. That's the best way I can explain it. Or as we say in New England, wicked good. Um, but I really, this one was, was real fun. I actually liked experimenting too because I get to learn a little bit. Next week, Opa's TV Movie Car Challenge. I am doing that. The General Mayhem. The week after that, Deep Junk Garages Shop Truck Build Off. So those are the, those are coming up. Now it's time for the reveal. Again, I've you can kind of see the hot rod flake in there. It's definitely bordering more towards white than silver, but it's there. Black chrome, bone shaker. Doesn't get much better than that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Watch the rest of the stuff as I try to show you the actual colors. Appreciate you watching. I'll catch you on the next one.